I've been asked to do a video on my wind generator. It's different than your normal boat one in that I built and designed it and um, kind of did it all myself. Probably the first thing to talk about is the blades. Uh, I carved these from a wood called Silver Bali. I uh, picked it up in Grenada. I brought it back as deck cargo, several beams of it. And uh, came up with a little algorithm that would work out the angle at every station. This actually gets flatter as it goes out. And this is a airfoil I got off a NASA site. It's pretty simple, actually. And I came up with a scheme for um, doing the carving so it's very consistent. It came up pretty well. I'm pretty happy with them. I've made several of these for other people. This is the alternator. This is the mounting bracket in the aluminum. The stator, which is held in place, doesn't rotate, has the coils in it, that's in blue. And the rotor, the part that spins with the blades, are these two discs with their magnets on them, the white parts. Uh, about nine years ago, and I went into a little bohemian shop called Top and Bottom that has very few things. And they had trailer bearings, uh, just the right size. So these bearings were bought here, out in the bush, as it were. Um, let's see what Bear's mentioning here. There's neodymium iron boron magnets. Uh, there are 16 poles, eight north on the top, eight south on the, or north on the bottom. So that would be north that way, north that way, north that way. There are coils of copper wire within this uh, stator. Uh, build a jig to hold the wires, uh, the coils I had made uh, in place, and then cast uh, polyurethane, a little bit of fiberglass, and mostly talcum powder to make this holding structure, this blue structure. They're set up in uh, 12 poles, equally spaced. The 12 poles are hooked up in three phase and come out these little wires. I know it's getting technical for some of you, but I'm sure somebody has followed this video that wants to build them themselves. And if you throw 16 poles onto 12 poles of coil, I had to do the math and do graphs to believe it when I came up with it, but um, you end up with a perfect three phase, uh, 60 degrees out of phase, just exactly what you want coming out of here. Uh, these three wires go into the boat where I have a diode bridge that converts them into 12 volt and a regulator when the volt voltage gets high, it uh, clamps down these two together, or these three together with a big old relay, and that's the braking system. So just as an example, if I were to spin this, you can see it's pretty easy to spin, but if I short these out correctly, well, try again. If I short these out, it's hard to get up. I can't turn it any more than that. So that's the short version of the alternator. I uh, just uh, found, had some scrap steel and access to a lathe, so I cut the plates. The hub is the most complicated part with the bearing holders and such, but that's all set, taken care of. Um, there's an aluminum shaft. That's basically the same as the axle of a trailer. Uh, I welded that on. The weld didn't hold. They ended up putting a, a screw in it and welded up this. You'll see how that comes in in a bit. If you do one of these, this is way overkill. This is two inch. It's way too heavy. One inch would have been plenty. Uh, this stock is just more than necessary. Uh, about nine years. Rotor spins with the blades. The blades will mount here. Uh, you can see it has two parts to it. Each one, um, these are actually done with a bunch of little magnets, but it's a one inch by one inch by three quarter inch neodymium iron boron magnet. The ones you can get today are a little stronger, uh, so these are 15 years old. Uh, 16 poles. Thank you.
energy you can pull off is a function of how strong the wind is blowing, and it's the square of the wind speed, so uh, it's not much energy in small and low wind. And uh, the size of the plate, the area that's inscribed. doesn't have a tail on it yet because it'll start spinning and uh, there's no stopping it once it starts spinning if it doesn't have a tail. Okay, we're going to put the tail on now. The tail is the part that keeps the wind generator pointed into the wind. And if you think about a boat, you'd say, oh wow, why doesn't it just mount on the boat? Because when the boat's at anchor, it's pointed into the wind. It's surprising how much it isn't. The uh, boat dances around on anchor a lot, so it needs to be able to make little adjustments and also current can make the boat point in very different directions. So this is made. Pretty simple design I, I finally ended with. Uh, this bar that holds the stator at the end of it gives me enough leverage to just hook on a couple aluminum uh, bits. Uh, the piece is spinning here, holding it up. The needle line to hold it down, not so much to hold the tail down, but that gives us a handle for shutting it down. I'll show you that in a bit. And that's the heated wind generator. Whoop! Better hook up the electricity. Hooking up the wires now. See, there's three wires because this alternator puts out three phase, three phase AC. Rectify that inside the boat. I got the state, uh, stator coils hooked up in a star topology. You can Google this for alternators. The choices are star or delta. Delta gives you more current, star gives you more voltage, and star works better for these. and talk about the four triangle now. Look up, please. Slide above. Line four pulls it into the inner four stay. That keeps the top from being able to move a little side to side, but not front to back. And down here we have three lines going to three points on the deck. Keeps that locked right into place. Okay, the wind generator's alternator makes three phase AC. That's not very useful for the batteries of the boat. That needs uh, DC. So I take the three phase AC, three wires, run them down, and they go into this little contraption. First deal here are a bank of six Schotty diodes, and that turns it into 12 volts DC. Then I got a, a voltage sensing circuit there that I got off. I think it's a solar panel regulator originally and that actions uh, a relay when the voltage goes over the point where the batteries are fully charged. That relay clamps down the three phase and it stops charging but more importantly it puts a brake on the wind generator and the wind generator comes to a virtual slow motion stop in any wind. Works out pretty good because 
the wind comes up and I'm not around the boat, it makes a huge amount of power, charges the batteries pretty quickly, and before things have ever gone bad, it shuts itself down. I've got the wind generator hooked up. Uh, it's blowing between uh, 10 and 13 knots. I think we just had a little bit more, maybe 15 knots of wind just now. Uh, it's doing pretty good, as you can see. This one's set up to make power in very low wind. I trade off the top end, so I put out about 50, 60 amps and 35 knots of wind, but I don't care about that. I want to make power down low, and I think I mentioned before, this one will make appreciable power, you know, 4 or 5 amps, 3 amps, something like that, in uh, 8 or 9 knots of wind. Um, there you go. It's working.